And then my boyfriend scandalously embraced another woman. No thought whatsoever for his girlfriend, or should I say ex-girlfriend? I'm sure Tobin would never cheat on a respectable eight like you, Maureen. How do you know if she's not a cousin or something? Well, maybe. He's a sweet guy, and he's lucky to have you. I know he knows that. And you know I know he knows that. Heck, everyone in school knows that we know that he knows that you know that I know that he knows that. I can't even imagine he would cheat on you. Thanks, Astrid. You made me feel better. You're welcome, Mo. You know I'm here for you anytime. Heck, I bet even Tobin knows that you know that I Stop. know. Stop. Wait, Astrid. Uh-huh. I just need to know. About what? That Tobin wouldn't really cheat on me. How are you going to find that out? I'm not. You are. Oh, no, Maureen. I'm not getting involved in another one of your crazy schemes. Remember what happened last time? I honestly thought Tobin was a duck. Swear to God. Come on. It'll be easy. All you have to do is flirt with him a little bit. I'm not going to flirt with your boyfriend. I have one of my own, remember? Don't worry about Ted. He's dumb as bricks. Okay, true. But also rude. Now listen, if we go on a double date tomorrow night, I can make sure that you and Tobin have a couple minutes alone. And then you just work your charm on him and see what happens. No, I can't. So you'd be okay with your friends dating unfaithful liars? You'd be okay with your friends dying of broken hearts? You'd be okay with giving a eulogy at 17? Gosh, well if it's that serious. So you'll do it? Fine. But I've never known someone this happy to hear that their best friend is sitting on their date. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, we can't let Tobin know what we're doing, so you have to try to look like you enjoy it. Smile. Let me get some of these plates out of the way. Can I get a coffee and dough, please? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be right back with that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> seems like we're nearing the end of this fabulous dining excursion. However, there is something that still needs to be accomplished. Ted, would you please accompany me outside? Why? Please, Ted. Nah, why'd I ever leave this little lady right here? Hubba hubba. Ted, do something useful with your life for once and go outside with me right now or else. Yes, ma'am. I will never understand the ways of that mysterious woman. What kind of sick friend do I have? It's over with. I like that we get to spend some time together. Usually, when you go on double dates, you don't get to spend some quality time with the other person's boyfriend. Oh, I'm a fool, Tobin. I can't hide my feelings for you any longer. I love you. Uh, are, are you crazy? All right, here are your leftovers, and here's your coffee. You guys have a good night. OK, you're right. I'm crazy. I don't love you, but I do like you. I like you a lot. Oh, that's hot. Okay, like, I was having a totally radical time in there with my babe, and you shook it all up. You dig? Can you speak not stupid? If I so much as hear another peep from you, I will cut you to death with a plastic spork. Okay? Be quiet so I can watch your girlfriend flirt with Tobin. Did you say Ash was flirting with Tobin? I said shut up! Glad to see they're getting along. Yeah. Now, uh, let's get back to what you were saying, baby koala. I think you mean Joey. What? Never mind. You're really handsome, and I really want to be your girlfriend. Well, that's really kind of you to say, but I don't think I could do that to Maureen like that. You can't? Are you kidding? I'd drop that five for a nine like you any day. You know, in that case, I never actually liked you. In fact, I think you're one of the dumbest people I've ever met. I think you're dumber than Ted, and he's pretty dumb. He is pretty dumb. How could you ever think of cheating on Maureen? She's at least a respectable ape, and I know that. And you know that I know that I know that. So I'm dumping you for her. Goodbye forever, duck boy. Wait, oh, ah! I can't believe you did that. I think you're like my hero now. It wasn't that cool, and besides, I've always been your hero. I know. <laughs> you're my hero too, honey. Oh, shut up. Babe, 
What about me? Sorry, babe. Only room for two. And, uh, but what about my leftovers? 